They so boom, that time one of the guys tried to pull a move in the name of GD. So I was cool with this vice lord, well, the ex-vice lord anyway. He ended up getting smashed off. But my guy used to come spend money with me every two weeks. He coming to get that commissary set. Bad week, I'm talking about my boy, like clockwork. He ain't going to miss. And you see, he used to come and buy commissary from me all the time because when you come to the penitentiary, and you owe the court restitution, any kind of fees, any kind of fines that you got, anything that's got something to do monetarily with your funds, anytime you get some money sent to the penitentiary from your people, they gonna snatch half of it before you even see it. Meaning, if them folks send you a quarter, you only gonna get twelve fifty on your books, and you ain't gonna be able to do too much with twelve fifty. Them folks send you fifty, you only gonna get a quarter. Them folks gonna get theirs off the back. So what most people used to do is they would get their people to send them money because even though if they buy a commissary, they still going to get more than they would get if they ordered it on the commissary. Especially if you, you got 25 and a lot of people, depending on who you are, they'll do 20 for 25. You know what I'm saying? Most people probably going to do about 1750. You might get your 1750 for 25, but you're going to get more than what you would get if you told your people to put it on your book. So to avoid that, a lot of times people will just get their bread from their people. They'll go holler at the store man, the right store man, which nine times out of 10 was me, but you know what I'm saying? Because it's competitive in here and I'm trying to beat these four prices. I'm probably, hey, what what he, what he, what he, what he charging for comment series? Ain't over there. I ain't even, you got some people that's ahead of the game when you ask the question. Oh, shoot. Bruh, commissary said be fat and he gonna let you pick all food. Bruh, bruh, bruh gonna, bruh gonna give you 21 five for, for 25. Dude ain't give you no $21.50, bro, for no $25. You is lying, bruh. Come on. Man, I'm just saying, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna let me get 20 food. He gonna let me get 20 food. Then he gonna give me a dollar fifty worth of hot jeans on Tim. Man, ain't nobody making deals. Right. I'm gonna go over there and answer right now. now. He only doing that for me, Joe T. Joe T, he only doing that for me. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real with you. He ain't doing that very bad. He mess with me. I know his people. His people know me. Me and his people, you know what I'm saying? We know each other. We really like family. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, 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 it just for me. That's just for me. But, uh, yeah, I know what you're trying to So I was cool with the little brother. You know what I'm saying? But he was one of them dudes that he was, like I said, he was vice lord and he had got smashed out because it came out that he was on some paperwork. And I seen this happen a few times. Dude come in repping vice lord. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take care of the business on the street, whatever would happen on the street. You know what I'm saying? They handled it however they choose to handle it. I don't know. He came in still repping. Evidently, when he called home and got verified, when they perp, hit on the hip, you know what I'm saying, to his top hat, his top hat said that he was he was official. Now, sometimes in the penitentiary, what happened was well, them people on the street know you found, know you done done some bull, and they know they got to follow you know what I'm saying? And they got to follow up on it and check behind and see what's up with you because they also, they ain't supposed to just let people in this guy, you know what I'm saying, certain things on their jacket. But some people know, because I, I seen it happen to some of the people from my hometown, you know what I'm saying, knowing good and well. And they'll call somebody who well known or they'll give them the number to somebody who well known and they already done, man, look, bro, they finna call, bro, bro, vouch for me, bro. And they gonna call home and be like, Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro just came in, said he was the guy, you know what I'm saying? And they, you know what I'm saying? They was asking who got it out there in Springfield, bro. And they, they, your name came up, so I, you know what I'm saying? I got on the phone, you know what I'm saying? I got to ask you, man. Oh, bro, straight. Whole time, he ain't straight. Ain't nothing straight about, dude. Nothing. They did me like that, you know what I'm saying? They called one of the guys, but they ain't had nothing to do with it. I had robbed him before. I had robbed him before. He he was one of the guys, and he, he, he tried to do it to me on the low. Even my cousin, he tried to do it to me. But... It, I, at that time, I was already official. I was already official. And, and when we laughed about it anyway. Why you like, man, he, you know, he robbed me, but, you know, but uh, you try to get that back door, trying to get me a little bit. So, with the little, with, what happened with the little brother was, he come in, they vouched for him. The dude he told on didn't get no time for what case he was on. He ain't actually even testified, but he was in the paperwork. The dude copped out, got some probation. He was still on the street, ripping the run, whatever, but he on paperwork. The dude get in trouble for a whole nother case. This dude done came to the penitentiary. This dude done came to the penitentiary, same place where dude was at, seeing he run around, still ripping the fire, and he told them. They smashed the little dude. He get the paperwork in and everything. Now, in this type of situation, do they really only the smash them on the strength of it's embarrassing to the vice lords. It's, it's, it's embarrassing to find them because if they keep him on 
they gonna be running around and dude done pretty much told everybody that this dude is on paperwork. So they feel like they, but he owned up to it. He was out. When they came in and asked him, of course he hit him with the, you know, he was young, the police hit him with the, hit him with the, you know, the flim flam. And he, you know, and he, he learned from that and, 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 and he ain't on that and that ain't who he is and this, this and that. And they respected that, but this dude running around making it like, Man, this dude, the police, he told on me. He run around here. So they smash him off. They don't run him to the back. Everybody was aware of the situation. The A9D might have ran into a little a little incident where somebody tried to throw it up in his face, for example. We all out in the park one day. You know what I'm saying? They playing cards. You know what I'm saying? The little brother who on paperwork, you know what I'm saying? He playing cards and he they getting the best of folk them and it's one of the guys out there. The guy get to argue. They going back and forth and then the... The guy, the brother, of course, it always come to somebody they feel like they can pick on, somebody they feel like they can bully, somebody they feel like they already got you. They already When they already got you beat mentally, they already feel like they can beat you in the cell because they already know to themselves, you done called this man now, you done called this man the police, then you went in the cell and you got beat up by the man you called out and the man you called the police. So they already going to try to dominate you mentally. That way, when you get in the cell, you really ain't got no win because you already done lost and you don't feel like you can win. So let me say this to somebody right now. Commercial break me, please. You need to get out of your head because as long as you in your head, the enemy going to keep defeating you because you already feel defeated. You already feel like you don't got no win. You already feel like you just you incompetent. You don't have a chance. And that's what he wants you to believe, because then that's how your your system going to reflect that. How you move going to reflect that. Your confidence is going to reflect that you don't have no confidence. It's going to reflect that you got low self-esteem. It's going to it's going to reflect that you ain't got no dignity about yourself because in your head you are already telling yourself that you're not worthy of it and that's how the enemy win well they get to argue and get what he tell the little brother he want the one the little brother man i ain't even, i ain't even on all that bro bro i ain't even on all that he don't want to fight it's a sellout crowd out here now the penitentiary penitentiary rules is in effect you don't say you don't want to fight when somebody tell you they want to fight. I don't care how big you is, how small you is, how scrawny you is, the adults, how soft. When somebody call you out in front of everybody, penitentiary rules, in the, you got to go ahead and lay them hands. The blues, man, I ain't even know. But this is just so happen to be one of them situations where everybody people, he really bullying dude. Dude ain't even on that. He don't want to fight. He ain't said no fight words. His body language ain't ain't said he wanted to fight. He just playing cards and he talking and he talking trash. Why he doing it? He ain't on that. Now a lot of times this would have turned into, ah, oh, we got him. Ah, oh, we it ain't because everybody already know that this ain't the type of time that dude on. Well. Couple of days go by, you know what I'm saying? Of course, bro probably still feeling some type of way because people carry vendettas. People carry vendettas. Now, let me let me go back. Let me go back. But what he do once he asks for the one, and dude say, "Nah, of course he go to calling him the police." And at this point, he trying to run him off the table, probably trying to embarrass and shame him, make him feel some type of way in the court. You can tell when somebody using. Something that's triggering you in the penitentiary. You got G's, Vice Lords, Crips, Aaron Nation. You got everybody out, female guards standing right there, and they get to calling you the police. You know what I'm saying? Talk about your paperwork. You done told on somebody. You know what I'm saying? This isn't it. And, and and that's that's the thing. When it when it's commercial break me please. In situations like that, even though you owned up to it and you took your lick, a lot of times that that that, that be that that thorn in your flesh. Like it, like it said it. I think it's in Second Corinthians twelve, or either First Corinthians twelve. Paul said, "I had a thorn in my flesh." He said, "I asked the Most High three times to remove that, and the Most High told me, I ain't gonna do it." He said, "You know what I'm saying? Your my strip is made perfect in your weakness." So even in that situation, he still he still even though I done owned up to it, I done I done took my lick. You know what I'm saying? I'm still and I still have to live with that. It's a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Even though I done moved past or I done sometimes it's still come up.
Sometimes, sometimes like somebody ain't even got to say it. It just, it just come, it just come, to, it just come to mind. And I'm knowing it's the enemy trying to defeat me. So what I do is, I just be like, you know what I'm saying? His strength made perfect in my weakness. You know, I did that. I made the feel that. Well, guess what it do? It keep me humble though. It keep me grounded. It make me realize, you know, hey, 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 don't get out of line, move this way, loop. don't treat them people that way, don't do. It, it just reminds me. Sometimes I have to look back at where I come from. You know what I'm saying? It just, it keep me grounded. So really, it's all about your perspective perspective and whatever it is that, that that's that thorn in your flesh somebody keep throwing up in your face or a memory keep coming up i don't know if it's a death in the family i don't know if it's a friend i don't know if it's a relationship i don't know if it's a job i don't know if it's something you did in your past you're shamed for i don't know what happened to you but every now and then it might pop up in your face you know what i'm saying and it, and it might drop your continents it may it might make you sad it might deal with your day i mean it might mess with your day it might mess with your mind it might stay on your mind longer than it was supposed to some, sometimes things come to visit and, and before you know it, they sitting there they hanging out, chilling with you forever you gotta learn how to understand that hey, you know what, his strength made perfect in my weakness, you know what I'm saying, I did that, took my leg, it's still here, I'm gonna remember that I ain't making that mistake again, but I'm gonna get on up and I'm gonna keep pushing, and do do, do move that kind of way, but when it hit, it hit feel everything you need to feel, and then after that, move on it, it visit, don't let it don't let it live It'll come to visit, don't let it live. When it come to visit, don't let it live though. Because it, it's going to come and visit. Just don't let it live though. So anyway, a couple days go by or whatever, right? A couple days go by. We coming in from the big yard. Everybody been hooping. Everybody been working out. Y'all already know how I explain it. And you already know what time it is when, when, when you coming in from the rig yard. Shower. Security is going down. So they coming in from the big yard, of course, you know, I'm already standing, you know what I'm saying? I'm on point. You're not gonna ask me to escort no grown man to the job. I'm just I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not they out of out of out of the ten years I've done, I promise you, this is this is no joke. Them folks might have gotten me to escort somebody maybe three times. Out of I'm not gonna do that, folks. Hey, look, bro. I'm I'm not on that type of time. Not saying that I'm a buck in the oil because y'all already know. If you don't, you know what I'm saying, take it a bit, you you become a bit. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's got something to do with AA. And you don't know what AA is, they let me know you ain't never been affiliated. If you ain't never been affiliated, I advise you to never become affiliated. And, and if you ain't never been to Pentitia, I advise you to never go. Because if you go in there and get affiliated with an organization, I promise you're gonna do some AA. And even when you don't want to hey, 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 you're gonna do some AA. <laughs> so so they coming in and they doing shower right. Everybody looking for an opportunity. The ones who like the escort, some sometimes it's they hustle. Sound security is they hustle because the please get out of line because they finna come up off for of you. So they taking one of the brothers to, to the shower and some the wall they walking on is two walls you can walk on and it sails on the wall. So even though they holler shout, they might holler shower right when they get to your door. Just so happen. Coincidentally, you hitting your door and coming out at the same time. I've seen it happen plenty of times. They ain't gonna let that be no excuse. Them folks gonna treat you like, man, you should have looked out the window. You you should have looked out knowing everybody just came from the yard. You've been here for a little minute. Ignorance is not an excuse. You know nine times out of ten, shower security is being ran out here. So he out, shout, shout. It's the same brother that got to argue with him that asked him for the one. He, The little brother popped his door. He on the wall. He come out. The door hit the brother. He pushed the door. Of course, security got the security going to move. So when he pushed, he, he says, man, what, man, you hear me? Boom, the guy comes. Doo -doo -doo. They done shut the little brother back up in the cell. Before he even walked out, you can hear him through the door. Man, my bad, man, my bad, bro. I ain't even no bro. They all here. Yeah, that was a. That was a. They keep on moving because sometimes you can tell when it's a mistake. And a lot of the t the guys wasn't on shower security extortion. You might have had a couple of guys here and there, and then this was one of them. And the name was ZD. They feel like, oh, that's that's my come up right there. So they go on to the shower. Don't nobody bump down on do none of that. The brother waits to almost lockdown time. He go over with another brother, a, 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 a scumbag, a brother who ain't really got nothing. I always, you know what I'm saying, a little mischievous little fella. And he always looking for a come up. And you know what I'm saying, they looking up for a come up together. And they don't sit down and devise this plan that they finna go over here and bump down on this brother in the name of GD. They already know he the police. Well, he, he, been, he been labeled the police. He done got smashed off. 
couple times he been called out. Brother done called him out before. They just, he's, he's, he's a weak link at this time. So they go over to the man and say, pop, 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 go in, bless this hell. And tell this man, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, brother them come holler at you. Nah, they nobody come holler. They told me to come down here and let you know, you know what I'm saying, for breaking security earlier today, you know what I'm saying, you need to pay $100, you know what I'm saying, and whenever you get that, just make sure you get that to, let, make sure you get that to me, and then everything gonna be everything. The brother been affiliated before, he know how shower security go, but get what he don't know. He don't know who the PC is, he don't know who the security is, he, he might know who the treasure is because that's nine times out of ten who doing the two for one. And he should know that that's where the money got to go. But that don't necessarily, just because that's where the money is going, that don't mean that that's who coming to collect it every time. Because the, the security might be like, go send some muscles to holler at them and they'll go get the bread and they'll give it to the PC. He could be calculating all this and he know he did come out of the door. He could be thinking this is a real situation. I'm somewhat cool with the little buddy. I'm cool with the little buddy. So they come on out of there. They tell the dude he got a certain amount of time to pay this bread. He tell them he going to pay. They come out a couple of days go by. Of course, they ready to put some pressure on. So the brother's seeing flunky folk over there. Flunky folk is one of them dudes, he, he, he want to be cool and he, he want to find any kind of way to get in. He ain't going to tell you he want a piece of the cut. But when you tell me, yeah, yeah, man, dude owe me some money. Hey, man, bro, he owe you some money, bro. Man, let me go over and holler at him, bro. Let me go. Man, we finna get that bread, bro. He, he saying we, because when he go get the bread, he might not add. If he going to collect the hundred. He might not add for 25 of that. But he gonna ask you, hey, bro. Let me, bro. Let me get a meal or two, bro. Let me, let me hold a meal or two. You know, he gonna ask you for some food. He won't find ten dollars worth of food. He gonna, cause that's a hustle for him. So of course that's why they gonna holler at Flunky folk. So he holler at Flunky folk, telling Flunky folk, yeah, man, bro, do owe me some money, man. I ain't even really trying. You know what I'm saying, bro? You go over and get that, bro. I got you. Oh, oh, he owe you some money, folk. Oh, they on, they on the I'm finna go get that. G. He go over there. He lie out too. Pop, pop, pop. Go in the cell. Bless the cell. He in here arguing back and forth about this. He going over here talking about bro paying the paying his money. But when he talking to him, the little brother must not peep. The little brother is is probably thinking he keep on referring, getting that money to bro because that's who he told him to bring it to. He ain't really peeping that there's some sideways stuff going on and he done sent dude over here, but he done sent dude because now it look like more of the folks are involved because he didn't send the initial, the dude who initially went over there with him. So it looked like GD is involved at this point. Flunky folk ain't got no folk, ain't got no, ain't got no idea he being used at the same time. This is penitentiary rule. This is, this is chess. This is not checkers. He making it look like something that is not. Why he in here arguing? with the dude. You always got your brothers who on watch. They watching everything. They watching how the guys move. They watching what sales you go in. You go in the opposition sale or somebody that you go in the opposite or somebody that's a junkie. Somebody that might owe their brother some money. They watching. You go in the opposition cell and you and it look like you walked over with a little tension in your body, a little aggression. They gonna watch the cell. They might not come down there and get in your business. Now if they get a little louder, they just skirt, skirt, skirt. It sound like some sound like some furniture being moved. They gonna come down now. He down here arguing with this dude and get loud. A uh, brother go down there on AA. Hey, hey. He go down on AA. Hey, hey. He ain't getting in the man bit, but he down there on AA. Hey. He go down there and stand by the door. And while he in there, of course, he talking about some money. He come out. Yeah, you better get that money. He closed the door. Two, he. Man, bro, you straight? Yeah, I'm straight, bro. I was just coming down here and make sure you was straight, man. GD on that. He rolled out. Of course, this flunky folk. Everybody always, hey, you know, flunky folk don't want to wear a band and did such, 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 such. So he going to come report the incident to the security. Pretty much what he was doing. He was coming up for he chat with me, but at the same time, he reporting the incident that he saw, you know what I'm saying, with somebody that, that, that ain't the business. It's considered the opposition, really, at this point. So I'm sitting on the right. He pulled up. What you got going on, Joe T? Man, I ain't doing nothing, bro. I said, man, what you got going? Man, I ain't doing nothing, man. You know, you know, you know, another day in paradise. I said, boy, I hate it when they say, ooh, this is, I hope that ain't what this is. Don't not, hey, don't say that when you come around. It's another day and no, this is not what that is, man. This is not, man, but bro, I will come up, bro. I'll let you, man, uh, man, uh, flung folk went down there and got into it with little bro, man. I pulled up, you know what I'm saying? AA them stayed out to stand it outside. Who we get into it with? He mentioned it, you know what I'm saying? The little brother that done got smashed off, off fire. I said, what are you down there all the way up for? This is an investment to me. <laughs> now, look at this. Now, true enough, you know, I know the business become, come first because if you don't take care of the business, 
you're going to become the big man. But at the same time, now that he done said this, I'm listening to the incident, but I'm really invested more so about my investment. I said, what did he, what he get into it with Ralph Hall? I'm seeming concerned about folks. He said, he said, man, I don't know. I went down and I seen him walk over. He said, he came, he came from over there. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he was marching over there, bro. He said, when he was marching, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of was watching, bro. Making sure he was straight. He going to say, you know what I'm saying? The door, it wasn't a slam, but it wasn't a close neither. You know what I'm saying? It kind of doomed You know what I'm saying? So I just, you know what I'm saying? Kept walking. And then, you know, I could hear voice, hear bro voice. You know, bro, bro voice carry. It carry, right? So I just mowed on down and just stood outside the door. You know what I'm saying? That is the business. Ain't GD business. You know what I'm saying? And when he came out of the cell, he was just telling a little bro. You know what I'm saying? He need to get that money. It's going to be an issue. I was like, oh, that was up. I said, flunk it, folks. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about, bro, hold him some money or something. He missed, he only caught the back end of it and heard it about some money. And it wasn't that he was down there saying that he owed him some money. He just knew it was about some money. So he thinking that flunky folk owe some money. I'm thinking, man, you know what? I said, that was up, bro. That was up. He said, what's up? I was just letting you know, bro. GD on. He rolled out. Man, let me go down here. I'll let money folk real quick. I know what flunky folk got going on right now. Pop, 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 pop. Man, what's up? What's up? I said, man, Joe T, let me holler at you real quick. Man, come on, bro. I'm on something, though. Come on, bro. I come here. Pop, man, bless his head. Man, I'm telling you, man, bro, look. I've been waiting for a couple days, man. I done told you a couple times. You already know I ain't like everybody else. I ain't trying to double up on you or nothing. I'm just trying to get my money. He is here talking about somebody, <laughs> about somebody owing him some money. So when I come in the sale, the dude, of course, he, he turned and looked and his eyes get big. He owe me some money. He owe both of us some money. But I ain't finna say nothing. I'm not finna put him on blast. It ain't, I'm let bro handle it business. I'll holler at him, you know what I'm saying, outside of this situation right here. Look, I know you owe both of us that ain't. Bruh say, oh yeah, and get bruh money too. He don't even know this man owe me. He just done seen this man eyes get big, and now he finna sit here and try to make this man tell on himself. He said, man, man, I apologize. He said, man, man, I promise, man. I'm gonna get your money, Joe T, and I'm gonna get you. He's, Funny folk hop off the table. Oh, so you do, old bro, too. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm tired of dealing with you, man. I tell you, man, get my money, bro. I ain't giving you nothing else on front. Anytime you come over here and holler at me, talking about you got me the next day and this, this, and that. And if I don't get it on this day, man, I, I, I promise, man, you 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 double up on me, man. You you double up on me. You triple up on me, man. I'm going to pay my money. Next time you take, do that, man, that's over with, man. Pay me, man. How you going to owe me? Bro, he owe you too, bro. <laughs> Look, that's between y'all. Man, you need to go on. Come on up by my cell, man. Come on up by my cell so I can holler, bro. So when he walking out the cell, bro, front of all, kick him in the butt, right? Poof, he kick him in the butt. You already know what time it is. You want to hear the rest of this story? You're going to have to go get your membership. The link is in the description. If you can't find the link or you saying it ain't working, ask me for it. I send it straight to you. Or go follow me on IG and DM me on IG for it. I send it to you. B-A-K-E-R-I-I-I -I -I is the link. It's, it's my Instagram. And if you ain't already got the book, Go get the book. So he like, man, what's going on? Oh, I said, man, oh, man, bro just pulled up on me, oh, and told me Funky Folk done got into a fire down there, man, and oh, and he said Funky Folk down there has a uh, X five for some money. He said who? I said Funky Folk. He said man, that man. He said don't nobody owe Funky Folk no money. I said he just came over. He said he went down. And he said bro, bro came across the brick. Bro came across the park marching. He pulled up down there, here, bro, down there. He went down there, ate, ate him. He said, bro, came out. Talking about, man, you better get that money. I said, man, look, bro, there's something going on. I said, man, I don't want to go down there and really. I said, you know, I messed with the little buddy. You know what I'm saying? He spent money with me. Bro, people ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't one of them dudes. I was like, man, bro, them got something going on. He was like, man, what you want to do? I said, man, mob down there with me real quick. He said, well, we, well let's start an investigation, Joe T. I said, well, come, 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 come. So we fade on out of the scene, right? We go on down there, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we look around to make sure flunking folk and the brother, you know, we, we make sure flunking folk and the brother who was down there on security, we make sure they ain't why. We don't want them to know we went down there because the brother, the brother who was standing down there, hey, hey, he might pull up and go holler. Hey, flunking folk, I just want to let you know. Man, I wouldn't have hollered at Joe T. I was just letting them wear the incident. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they can't holler at you, but they went down there and hollered at You know what I'm saying? So, bro, bro, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, bro. You ain't hearing from me. He might go. No, come on, let's go. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, who is it? Man, Joe T, let me holler at you. He's like, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, bro. You can already hear it in his voice. He, he thinking it's a G incident. We come in, pop. 
man, bless his ear. Funny folk come in behind me. Man, bless his ear. When he seen it with both of he said, man, bro, I already done told him, bro, I'm going to get the money by the end of the day. Funny folk said, money for what? He said, man, brother, them bum. He said, brother, them, them they, you, you, your guys, they done bumped down on me twice. I already know, man. I apologize. You know what I'm saying, bro? I didn't mean to get in the way. None of that. He was like, what you talking about? He said, man, bro, said, I owe, I owe, I owe GD $100, you know what I'm saying, for breaking the security the other day. I did come out of the cell when y'all walking back, bro. It was an accident, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was then. They told me, you know what I'm saying, that I need to pay, that I need to pay, the, you know what I'm saying? I, he said, who who said that? He said a brother name. He said, did he say you owe him or you owe GD? He said, I owe the folks. I look at funny folk, funny look, funny folk look at me, me and funny folk look at each other. He said, how much, how much you say it was? He said it was a hundred dollar, bro. I told him I was gonna give it to him. I was gonna give it to him by the end of the day. I already done hollered at my people. He said, look, bro, check this out. You good. He said, when they come over and holler at you, he said, now matter of fact, when we come out of here, wait a couple of minutes. Go over and holler at bro and tell him that uh that that debt been paid, tell him you paid it to Joe T. I looked at him, what why you didn't say he paid it to you? <laughs> tell, him, tell him you paid it to Joe T. He, no, he said, hold on, he said, he said, look, bro, listen to me. You good? Ain't nothing gonna happen. We're gonna be on standby. He ain't finna do nothing. He ain't finna try nothing. You good. Just tell him you gave that money to Joe T. He said, man, for real. He said, man, you good. He said, all right, we fade on out of the sea in front of Jose. Oh, if he lie, he going in that blender, folks. He going in, he going in that thing thing. I prop if he lie and talk about, man, bro, I ain't tell him that bro, he lying and this, this and that. I know the little brother ain't lying, bro. I said, I know he ain't lying too. And then he did, he, I know he be spending with every other week, bro. Every other week, you know what I'm saying? They ain't finna, man, I already know he ain't trying to play with nobody that's spending money. Man, I ain't finna, man, listen. Man, I'm telling you, bro, if he lie, he going in the night, night bro. <laughs> so we go up, you know what I'm saying? We sitting on the top walk, 15 minutes, bro. The brother come out of this area. He fade right over here. We sitting over here watching. When he go in, flunky folks see him go in. Flunky folks going, funny folks, man, I'm finna go down. I said, no, 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 this year, this year, this year. This year, they ain't gonna do that, they ain't gonna do that. So they down there, you, you can see Flunky folk doing all this right here. So the brother come up out of there, they close the door. Two, two, the brother look up, we look at him, we all look at each other, right? They come out of there, see him and Flunky folk standing next to each other. Funny folk say, hey, 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 g -Bot. Hey, come on up here, holler at me real quick. He said, man, what's up, G? He said, man, come on up here, holler at me. I said, I'm going to step in the cell. When you get him, step in the He said, all right, I step on in the cell. I go in the cell. I hear funny folk out there. Get what I hear him say. Man, bro, whatever I got going on with dude, that ain't that, that ain't GD business. That's my personal business. I said, here he go. Hey, funny folk done already decided. He going in that thing. He going in that thing. I hear him say, but come on, let's go over here and holler at Joe T real quick. <laughs> I said, man, that's crap. They come in and say, man, bless his head, dude. Man, bless his head. What, what's going on, G? I said, look, check this out. I said, I'm going to add one time, bro. What you got going on with little bro? Man, I ain't got nothing going on with him, Joe T. I'm gonna add one time. Man, that my personal being to Joe T. That ain't got nothing to do with. That ain't got nothing to do with GD. So you didn't go down there in the name of GD. Man, what you what you mean, bro? What you mean? What's what's up? Funny folk. So you didn't go down there and tell him that that man owed GD a hundred dollars for breaking security, bro? Man, bro, bro, he did break security. Did you tell him he owed GD or you told him he owed you? Man, bro. I'm just trying, bro. I'm just trying to get it how I live, bro. Money making and manipulation, bro. I'm just, he said, no, 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 no. You ain't gonna do that. You don't do that in the name. If you gonna go down there, if you gonna go down there, you make him pay a hundred. You make him pay a hundred to you. Don't go down there and saying the GD making him pay a hundred because that's what he thinks standing behind that. Now, if he bucked you for the hundred, that's different. If he bucked GD for a hundred, you know, if he bucked GD, you know what I'm saying? He gonna become the business. He said, oh no, 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 man, bro, come on, bro, bro, I ain't need nothing, bro. They no smash them on, bro. On paperwork, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. When it come to this all. You going to do what you supposed to do. You, we righteous, bro. You going down there doing stuff. Nah, we ain't on that, bro. We ain't on that. Man, I'm just saying, bro. Bro, you want this right up or what? Man, write me up for what, bro? He said, you know what? I ain't even going to go through all that. i tell you what you do. i tell you what you do. I'm just sitting here watching. He said, that same Honda you were trying to extort, bro, out of, pay it to the boss. Man, bro, for real, bro. Man, that's crazy. He looked at me. I look at him. We look at each other. I said, it's fair. That's hard. And Starlito, what, what Starlito say? 
It's hard, but it's fair. I said, man, hey, it's hard, but it's fair. He said, man, for real, bro. Man, that crazy, bro. He just standing there. He 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 can't believe what happened. He just. Y'all got there for What you mean we got it, bro? You knew what you were doing, bro. Y'all got there, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm dismissed, bro. Yeah, bro. GD on there, bro. He faded on out of the cell. Funny said, I still want him. I want to put him in that thing. I want to put him in that thing. That man know he ain't had no business going down there doing that, bro. Don't anybody run around here and, and, and saying that it's GD standing behind what they trying to... That ain't cool. We need to. I said, <laughs> he's trying to get me to. I said, bro, he good. It, he go. He gonna pay. He ain't got no money, Joe T, man. The only thing we gonna get is it's to get him punched on. I said, man. <laughs> I'm gone, man. I'm gonna go holler. What dude was supposed to pay you your money, Joe T? I said, who? You know what I'm talking about. The man that was in the sale early. I said, oh, he gonna pay me today. He always. Man, I said, why? He said, man, you supposed to pay me yesterday. I said, he ain't never missed it. I'm playing with him. I said, oh, he ain't never missed the payment. He, Ed Wednesday, he, he pull up. Hey, Joe T, here you go. He going to give me my six, that, that, that 16 digits. Yeah, he going to give it to me. I said, you know, he, he going to pull up. I'm going for a I said, man, hey, go down there and holler at bro, man. <laughs> man, we'll go down and holler. We'll go get my money first. He go, he fade on out of the cell. I'm looking in the, in the mirror, the mirror. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at me, myself, looking back at me and myself, looking at you. I said, man, I'm tired of the folks, man. And I'm tired of the penitentiary. But it is what it is. By the time I'm getting my mind together, somebody. Hey, GB, the reason. Come on in, folks.